We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I ever get a break? Okay, do you agree with, this is to you, just with Senator Ron Wyden's statement that there should be consequences for platforms that don't remove people like Alex Jones? Uh, I don't know if consequences are, but I think the internet companies need to be regulated in some level of how right. they're operating. And so he did that interview with me, actually. Um, and I, I think probably a lot of people worry about that idea of, of doing that, but com companies should be able to do whatever they want, I think, okay. in lots of ways. I, I'm, I'm a free speech person myself. Uh, Saro, should we get rid of tipped wages? Uh, yeah. Softball <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, nice softball. Um, well, if you want to maintain a legacy of slavery and keep sexual harassment, keep the $2 wage in this country. Otherwise, give people a full wage, let them actually live. And you know what? If you put it on the ballot, they'll actually go out to vote, and maybe we'll change all the stuff that we've been talking about. Right. It, it, it is changing to a degree, is it not? I see more and more places where it's, it's kind of baked Absolutely. And we actually just won in D.C. on June 19th. Right. We raised the wage from $3 to $15. We're on the ballot in Michigan if the Republicans don't take us off. So. Um, do you think it's time we had a constitutional convention to uh, alter some of the fundamental problems with America? I, I do. I've been saying it for 20 years. Problem is, they're the ones now who want a constitution. I uh, saw this yeah, in Nancy uh, McLean's uh, book, that this is the Koch brothers thing. This, yeah, it's they, a constitutional yeah. convention can be very damaging and dangerous. Could be, you know, yes. You want to go back to Dred Scott, say, that's what right. you want to do. That's how yes. you do it. And so uh, you open that door... And it's interesting, progressives and but, liberals have been fighting this for years, and the Koch brothers and, and conservatives want to open that and attack unions. They want to go back to appointed senators. I, yeah. I, I worry about, the, right now in this country, where we've got 40% of the people who say that the president should be able to shut down a news organization right. he's not happy. I worry that we'll get into a very deep mire if we go into a constitutional convention. You know, I know the operating system has a, some flaws and some bugs in it, but we may be replacing it with, like, guys who want to hit rocks with hammers. I really right. worry about that. <laughs> there is a long-term problem, though. You know, we've talked about the Electoral College and how lousy that is. Yeah. We have gerrymandering. But also, as the population becomes more urbanized, rural, rural states have more power in the Senate. So we have a democracy crisis that's we growing do. in this country, and I don't know how you get around that get without changing the Get rid of the Electoral College. Well, well, you can do and, that. That's an awesome. Well, once yeah. you, once, look, if somebody wants to do a constitutional amendment to strike the Electoral College, that's one thing. Yeah. Going into a constitutional convention, remember, that reboots us from zero. We rewrite at that point, and I am... How likely is that to happen? It's really unlikely. It's, it's super like difficult. They can't agree on lunch in D.C. Right, right. <laughs> it's, it's really, un That's it's really why a far you, reach. I keep but. saying you have to take a baby step, and the baby step is not to Dakotas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One would One. be plenty. <laughs> <laughs> it was good enough for Deadwood, right? They had one to cover. Right? <laughs> right? Exactly. Uh, okay. Um, well, tip wages, we asked that. How about what do you think, David Korn, of reality winner, the NSA translator who leaked the Russian hacking report, being sentenced to over five years in prison? Well, I, you know, as a journalist, we count on. What is with the name? Well, yeah. It's a long story. That's, yeah, that's, you don't want to hear it. Okay. No, but, as a journalist, right. we count on people to leak us information that's vital for our democracy to function. Knowing what happened with the Russian hack was a very important thing. Now, she did violate the rules of her employment, but this penalty that she's gotten five years is exceedingly long, one of the longest penalties. And it's obviously there to create a, you know, a, a chilling effect. Right, so that other people don't do this and we stay in the dark. And if we have a, an administration and a Congress who won't tell us what happened fully, the 2016 hacking, then we need people like Reality Winner. We need more of them, and now we're going to get less of them because we still don't have the full story because Trump and the Republicans don't want us to. Yeah. I worry about the fact that we've got a president who goes in private meetings in the Oval Office with Russian spies and ambassadors and goes in behind closed doors and, and, and God knows what he and Putin are talking about. No one will tell us. And, and he's, he's been in hip deep with the Russians since he was a, since he was a young yes. post-STD avoiding veteran of New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and so I worry, and, and yes, you know what, she broke the law, yeah. and, and the sentence was harsh, but it was within the bounds of what the, what the guidelines were, 
and, and set the journalism thing aside. She broke the law. But we've got an administration that's more fundamentally compromised our security on so many different levels than she ever could have dreamed of doing. But to be what? fair, the Russians will tell us, right? Yeah, well, eventually. The Russians, yeah. or the Chinese, We'll maybe. get there. Yeah, that's why we indicted them. <laughs> right. They'll just turn themselves in. What do you think of this Maria Butina? Funky uh, cool Butina? What is yeah. it? I, I'm making a LL Cool J joke, but oh. <laughs> yeah. it's a rap dad joke. Uh, yeah. Look, she was absolutely perfect bait for these for the the yeah. DC conservative nerd crowd. They're like, ooh, See? hot Russian girl who likes guns. Brrr. <laughs> <laughs> it's like guns and church. Uh, this yeah. right. I think it's very yeah. interesting that she targeted. She, I love guns. And I go to prayer breakfast. <laughs> Who wouldn't love me? I, I, I like what you like. She wasn't a trans spy, she, but she was a she, guided weapon. It's amazing into the, into that just, the, yeah, it just shows the, that they're into our psyche well, or, the, or the conservative psyche. Well, she's clinging. Guns and Jesus. That's I, how I'm you, still stuck well, on your, your purring. I, 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 could, you just, <laughs> could you do we'll, that again? I'll give you a ring Maybe later. For that <laughs> after the show. Okay, I got to go. Thank you very much. <laughs>